Hello guys, um, and welcome to this class. It's still your trader King question right here. And um, we are about rounding up the beginner to advanced course, okay? And if you've been following, up, I'm really glad because of course you wouldn't regret it. So now um, in today's class, we're going to be talking about other blocks, all right? We're going to be talking about other blocks as entry, um, shall I say patterns or strategy? Well, what I mean is just we're going to be talking about other blocks and we're going to be using other blocks for entries, okay? Now, um, in previous classes, I've taught you guys market structure, liquidity, and um, now we're talking about other blocks, yeah? So now, uh, in this class, I'm going to be showing you how to identify other blocks. And then in future classes, I'll show you the kind of other blocks you should use for your entries. Now, basically, when we talk about order block, order block is simply yeah, order block is simply a change in the state of price delivery. Okay. Now I am going to explain what I mean by a change in the state of price delivery. All right. Now let's assume, okay, let's assume we have price. Let's assume we have price going up. All right. And then all of a sudden we have this slight change in the state of price delivery over here. This change, okay? Also, this is also a change in state of price delivery. So let me just highlight this this way. Let me see this. Now, this is an order block, okay? Now, the, the thing we do most times is just that we refine order block, okay? And then somehow, somehow all right? We get to refine it back to maybe all right the last maybe bearish candlestick before this move that went up all right or somewhere around here all right maybe the last bearish candlestick before this move that went up all right so have the back of your mind that order block is simply the change in the state of price delivery now i always tell my students this an order block is not or must not just be one candlestick, okay? Let me give you an instance. Now, in this case right here, all right, we have price delivering to the upside, all right? And then we have what? A change in the state of price delivery here. Because the change happened from what? An uptrend to a downtrend. So this change here now is another block, all right? This change is another block. So if you get to highlight it this way, all right, you're not wrong. These two bearish candlesticks are other blocks, all right? So this slight change now is an other block. And you can see what happened. Price went back up, right? Price came back to that other block and then started buying from there, all right? Price started buying from there. Now, how do you get to use other blocks for entries, okay? Now, I'm going to give you another instance. Take a look at this place. Price was going up, and then we had this slight change. Then price kept on going. Now, this change in the state of price delivery is also an other block. So if you get to highlight it this way, we are correct. Like I said earlier, just that most times we refine it down to the last candlestick. Okay? But then, the ideal thing here is that all these bearish candlesticks here are other blocks. But just that we get to refine it like this, maybe to the last candlestick most times. All right? Now, why do we refine things? Or why do we get to refine the other blocks? So that we can get better entries. Okay? Now, let's assume you use the last candlestick, you have put your entry right here with your stop loss, stop loss loving here, all right? And then you think profit, external range liquidity, like I've always taught you, right? Now, you will have gotten a very sweet sniper entry right here. But if maybe, all right, if maybe you've got to use the whole other block, 
All right? If maybe you go to use a whole other block, you will have had something like this. And then maybe your entry would have been here. Now, this is still good. But when you refine it, you get to have better entries with better risk to reward ratios. You get. So, assuming you got to use the whole other block, all right? Your entry will have been here. But assuming you got to refine it down to this last bearish candlestick, you'd have had a better, more comfortable entry, all right? So, now, um, you can use other blocks for entries, but you do not use every single other block for entries, all right? Your other block needs to be in confluence with what you want to um, do in the market, all right? So let's assume you have price moving this way, maybe on an uptrend, blah, 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 you know? Now, I taught you guys premium and discount. Now, your other block must be at discount if you want to buy, okay? Just get to add everything I have taught you. It has to align with structure also, all right? It has to align with structure also. Now, if you have an other block somewhere here, for instance, yeah, let's say you have an other block somewhere here. Now, don't don't trade the other block. Now, why wouldn't you trade the other block? Because it's at premium, and we don't want, we do not want to buy from premium. We really want to buy from discount. But if maybe you have your other block somewhere below the zero point five level, okay, and then aside. Um, the liquidity metrics it aligns with other things, maybe structure or whatever other confirmation you're using. Then, of course, you can look at it to take a buy from, right? So, basically, when you're trading other blocks, you do not trade them blindly. Don't just go and say, Oh, this is another block, then you buy from it. Any other block you see, you keep buying from it. No, 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 no. That is not how to do it, okay? Another block is not a sole entry confirmation, no. It, it doesn't stand on its own. It needs other confluences to, to make it um high probability. Okay? It needs other confluences like, you know, stuff like other flow. Um, I mean trend. When I say other flow, I mean trend, all right? It needs other stuff like li liquidity, okay? It has to be in line with liquidity also, okay? Now, for instance, you know, I taught you guys that, okay, when you guys get to, uh, for instance, you may, maybe have a liquidity setup this way, okay? Something like this. Now, when price grabs this equal low liquidity here, okay? When price grabs it downwards, price can buy from an other block, okay? Price can buy from an other block. Now, when you have this kind of setup, you have many things in Confluence, okay? First of all, you have liquidity in Confluence. First of all, you have liquidity as Confluence, all right? Now, second of all, you have what? The range. I thought you guys had to, had to trade range. And then even if you get to use your FIB, uh, your, your liquidity metrics, you get to find out that you are buying from what? From discount. So you can see that you are not using an other block as a soul or as um one, one confirmation. No, you have like two, three things telling you that, okay, now you can actually buy from this other block over here. All right? Now, so other blocks are for entries, okay? Maybe you get to spot liquidity and you want to trade liquidity. Okay, you can basically use another block as as an entry. Okay, I gave you guys this um ex, this uh what's it called? I gave you guys this example right here. You can see okay on this point right here, right at this point right here we have what we have a break of this high, right? We have a break of this high. We have internal range liquidity over here. All right, internal liquidity over here. So price it what price took out the internal liquidity, and then it what it bought from this other block. So maybe you will have been able to spot that okay, this is an internal liquidity, but where do I buy from? Check is there another block? Then you can buy from your other block. You get so that is how simple this is. All right, now looking at this other setup right here. All right, you have what you have. A break of this swing low, all right? You have internal, sorry. You have internal range liquidity over here, all right? Now, where do you sell from? Check, do you have an order block? If you have an order block, highlight your order block, all right? And then you sell from your order block. And you sell from your order block. 
you stop loss above the other block, take profit at external liquidity, and that is how you rule. So simple. Okay, so break of swing low, internal liquidity taking. Where do you sell from? Is there another block? Sell from it. Right. In other videos, I'm going to be showing you other um, what's it called? I'm going to be showing you other entry strategies you can use. I think in the next video we're going to be talking about Feverly Gap. All right. So guys, I want you to go to your chat. All right. I want you to go to your chat and um, back test this. Okay. Go and practice for yourself. Now looking at this point right here. Okay. Um, we have what? We have this swing high over here. Okay. Now we have this swing low over here. Now, before the swing low happened, okay, before the swing low got broken, you got an entry, but then this is it. You have what internal liquidity right here, right? First of all, you already know that, okay, you have a market structure shift from here. Now, where do you sell from? Of course, you can see another block. This is your other block right here. This is your other block right here. You sell from it. You sell from it, you stop loss above, and then take profit, external range liquidity. You get so that is how simple you can do this. You can just keep on doing this, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times, guys. Now, check this one again. You have what previous high taking out, you have what external range liquidity right here. Okay, where do you buy from? Another block, sweet. You see, your entry will be what at the opening of the other block. SL here, take profit, external liquidity. Simple, very simple, guys. Now you can see. Now this is how you just get to use other blocks for your entries. All right. Now I I want you to go to your chat and um and practice this. Very much important. I also have other videos on this on my YouTube channel. You can also refer. To them all right they're also going to help you so um, i'm going to see you in my next class and until um, then happy learning and happy trading bye